So if you were to do a flowchart, it will look like that. You read the input here, you read the input, and then what the output here as well. This is the, also the output. Okay. And then in between, you have your diamond shape goes right in here. Condition goes right in here. So you have the start up here, and then you have the end down here as well. And in between, you have your lines. So you have goes like this. This goes here. And then this will be, I'm just going to put, um, yeah, I didn't do that, the assignment here. You have an assignment uh, in, in between, right? So you have the assignment that you will assign the true and the false. And you print it out, right? So you would do like that. And then this is the other branch. This is the other branch. And these both these will go to this part here, either that or the other one. Okay. And then finally you out. Okay, it will look like that. You like your drawing will look like that. Okay. So we start to read the input. You've got H30. And then here, if you want to, actually you can do another um, rectangular to process the conversion. So if you're reading the input, basically just this. So this part, you actually, if you would do it this way, will actually fall under the process because you're actually processing, do some internal processing here in this case, okay? So I did not do that here, but after you read, then you do a conversion right in here. If you do only one take like this, then that's all you need, okay? So it depends how you do it. And then we test the condition. If age is greater than 21, if it's true, then we go one direction. If it's false, we go the other direction. We assign the allowed here or here, right? So notice again the rectangle, right? You just process some data. And then once we're done, we'll kind of back, come back out and we're going to print some data on here. So we can print um, the allowed, right? So I'll put the result and then we end. Okay. So let's see if it's true. So if it's true, then in this case, of course, we're expecting a true, okay? So we run, you'll see that we got a true down here. All right? If the age is indeed, um, let's say, 20, and then we should get a false for the output. And we do get a false down here. Okay, so here, initially, I set the result to false. So this is the if and else branch, okay? Why? Because I need to do this part here. That's why you have the else. If you don't do this, so if you look at this and this line, line 16, is the same line. It's redundant in this case. So therefore, if this is same, then and it, the better code is I can completely ignore these two lines. I don't need the else branch. Okay, so let me, I can comment this out like this. I'm commenting, so don't execute those lines. That's what it means, right? So if it's because I'm already set it so that it's false. The only time this allowed will be true if the age is greater than 21. If it's not greater than that, then this allow will always be set to false already. Right. So I don't need to reassign again down here. That's what we call this code redundancy, where we, we are doing something that has already been set. So we're wasting computer time. Okay, so therefore, in this case, um, it'll be false because uh, 20 is less than 21. So this is not true. If it's not true, then this line 19 will not run. It will skip out of that, and it's going to go straight down to line 25 and print allowed. Well, what is allowed? Well, allowed was initially false. Okay, so you can see how uh, the logic here uh, is important and save you two lines of code, okay? And if I run, I'm still gonna get false, as you can see down here. If I change it to, again, uh, 40, then you're gonna get true because, it's true because once I go to line 19, right, I change the result of false to true. So the same bucket now contains a different type of fruits. This two part here, I did not show here. And if you were to do it um, correctly, you would need another, another one right in here, okay? Like that. And then the arrow will go from 
uh, not from here, but from erase this one here. So I read the input, and then after that, I process the data. Okay, and then here I go to the condition. This part here, the, the read input, that will go right in here. Okay, and um, and this these two lines right here will go right in this box. I'm setting some data. Okay. And then uh, this condition, this line right here, goes right inside the diamond shape right here. Okay, is it true or false? So if it's true, then let's say this is this part is true, and this part here is false. If it's true, then this line will go right in here. I put on the other side. I should have put on this side, but either way. If it's false, then what we had earlier, if I had this as before, then this would go right in the false part here. If I don't have it, like I have it now, then this line will go straight down to the print, okay? And then this very last line goes in here. The printing, right? So remember the printing and uh, reading data is the same shape, same symbol. So initially, like that, right? So that's what the flow chart will look like for that code. 